So the caravan has been uh, finished like this for about, oh, it's well over 12 months now, but like any any project, um, you get to uh, towards the end and there's like the last five, 10% of stuff that uh, you just neglect to finish off. Anyway, it's a beautiful day here on the Coffs Coast. Um, sun's out, it's been raining and raining for weeks. It's so boggy around here, I can't even mow around the house. So it's a perfect day to crack into uh, some of these little jobs that I've been meaning to do around the caravan. Uh, next week, I've got it booked out through Camplify, um, which is a, a rental thing. It's sort of like an Airbnb for caravans, so you can make a bit of extra cash. Uh, it's actually my second um, rental. So, yeah, just want to tidy up a few of the things that um, I've been meaning to do with the caravan just to get it all finished off. So, uh, yeah, come and check out what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, so in the caravan here, I'll just show you. There's a few of these um, like little holes and I haven't trimmed around the door frames and things like that. So that's one thing I want to finish off. Um, on the roof, I had put um, a flexible solar panel. It was a, a 160 watt um, flexible solar panel from King's 4x4 Supercenter. And uh, I followed their instructions on how to mount the solar panel um, using some core flute, um, yeah, double-sided tape and everything to uh, lock it down in place um, however it lasted a few months and then one day my son was in the back seat and he's like hey dad something I just saw something white fly off the top of the caravan so anyway turn around drive back and there it was the solar panel laying on the road so went back got that one um, I tried to do a bit of a repair job on it but um, it worked at first but it's not doing so well now so that's another thing I need to fix up is that solar panel so um, probably look at replacing that, but I've got a um, portable solar panel as well, so I'm probably going to put um, an Anderson lead um, or connection down into the side of the caravan to the battery, so I can just plug that portable one in um, for the time being. Um, the back window, I'll just show you on the bed here. So the back window, we find when it rains, I'm getting a bit of, well there you go, you can sort of see the little um, leak marks just there. So. Um, there's a bit of uh, water getting in through there, so I've got to investigate that. Um, that might mean pulling out the back window, resealing it, and popping it back in. Um, maybe it's the weep holes that um, allow water to get where it gets inside the channel there. Maybe they're clogged up. So anyway, that's another thing I need to look at. Not sure if I'll get that, to that one today. Um, but anyway, the first thing I'm going to hit is that, uh, um, yeah, the, the finishing off around the door. So... We'll uh, get stuck into that one. The uh, finishing around the door frame there come up all right. Just got to paint that, seal up the gaps, and then uh, that's done. And I'll have to do something about these holes at the top here as well. Sort that out. So the plan to fill these little holes, I'll show you what I'm doing, is I've cut a little bit of three mil ply. I put a nail in that. So I've got my glue here, and I'll just glue bit either side of that nail okay and then um, what we'll do is we'll pop that see so I'm just gonna pop that into there okay and then uh, let that hold and then dry there you go so I got those four plugs in there so when uh, that glue dries I'll pop those little um, nails out and then I'll uh, fill them with spack fill and then sand them off. So the next thing I'm working on today is uh, my inverter. Um, when I installed it I didn't actually put a fuse in it so uh, I only realized that recently so I've got a, a mega fuse here so I'm going to um, connect this and uh, that should take care of my inverter for me. So I've just mounted that um, that mega fuse block there. 
and that's the uh, cable for the inverter so I'll cut that off and stick that in there so it's mounted nice and close to the uh, terminal Don't you hate that when you're using a tool and you put it down somewhere then you can't find it? Just uh, lost my Allen key. I had it like two seconds ago. Damned if I could find it. <sighs> Found it. Look at that. <laughs> right on the edge of the uh, sink. So that's the uh, the mega fuse there. I've got the blade which I haven't installed. That's the uh, that's the blade for it. Um, so I put it close to the terminal. So that's going to attach to the terminal there, and then that's the lead running over to the uh, the inverter. So and I've just screwed that to that um, aluminium frame there. And that'll do the job. But before I connect that all back up to the battery, I'm going to put a lead in for uh, my external solar panel, my portable solar panel, so I can connect that to the battery and um, put some juice in there because I'm having trouble with the one on the roof. So that'll do until I fix up the one on the roof. So that's the blade. I'll just go in there. It's a little cover. Boom, done. So what I'm going to do now, I've got a scrap bit of lead here. I'm going to connect that to my battery, and then I'm going to put an Anderson um, connection on there so I can plug my solar panel into um, that connection on the outside of the caravan. I'll mount that just under the caravan. I can plug it in nice and easy, and um, put some juice into my. Uh, batteries that way so I'm gonna drill a hole down through the floor here next to these other cables that I have I just gotta be careful not to uh, drill into any um, cables underneath there but I'll drill under there then I'll run the um, the cable across to this side of the caravan and I'll mount um, the Anderson plug on the underneath on the outside there just so I can plug it in nice and easy so let's just have a quick look under the caravan here Right, so that's um, where my other cables are coming out. You can see just up here. So I'll drill beside that and I'll run that cable through. And then it's going to come across. It'll come across here. Um, and then I'll, uh, I'll mount it up here somewhere. So that way that's... Um, I can just plug my Anderson plug in there. That should do the job. So I've got to find a, um, a drill bit that diameter, just so I can poke it through nice and snug. Let's go do that. Should do the job. Yep, so I was looking at these cables here, and I'm going to go down just on the right hand side of, of that one there. I'll be safe. So let's just test that cable out. Should just pop through there. Pull that out a little bit. Sorry, the camera's going all over the place. <clears throat> that looks better. I think that carpet's blocking it up a bit. Still doesn't want to. Might just go a slightly bigger hole. See if that one there fits. 
That's got it. Nice. Okay, we'll poke. Um, do this in the garage first. I'll connect these. Um, this hand is plugged to the end of this lead. All right. So I'm just heating my uh, old soldering iron up there. I'm going to strip the end of this one. And I'll uh, put solder in these. Um, these are the Anderson connections. Get a bit of heat into that. So that's, oh, get rid of that smoke so you can see that's filled up full of solder and that, uh, that joint shouldn't go anywhere, I hope. Do the other one. So that's uh, my Anderson plug. Or Anderson lead, you can get these on like most uh, like car shops and stuff like that. Super cheap auto, auto barn. Um, you can get them online on eBay. I like, can get a pack of ten for you know not much at all. So you got your negative and positive. Obviously, go black one being negative. We'll jam that in there. Have to push that up with the screwdriver. We'll just click, click in, and lock in. There we go, that's clicked in. There we go. Positive and negative. Get that shrink wrap down. There we go. I actually just run another bit of shrink wrap over the top of that while I can. There we go. Okay. Time to run that uh, up into the caravan. Mount. I'm thinking I'm going to mount this um, right about there somewhere. Just checking it's not in the road of, uh, that'll be right underneath the pantry I think. Just there. That should be good. So, let's do this. That doesn't end up working out too well. I can just move that. So now I can poke this. Uh... Over through the hole we drilled in the floor. So we'll poke this through the hole we drilled in the floor now. So I'll weave, weave this through here.
There's our cable. Got plenty of uh, plenty of length there, which is good. It's time to hook it all back up and then uh, test it out. Let's see how we go. Okay. Everything is hooked back up. I'm going to go plug a solar panel in and we'll uh, test it out. Okay. So these lights on the back of the uh, solar panel there on this little regulator are flashing. So we just want to plug this in if they go solid. Got a good connection and everything's running smoothly. There we go. Let's see how that looks. Good. Go check what's going on in my uh, voltage reading on the inside of the caravan here. And there you go, it was saying 13.1 before, so that's jumped up to 13.3, 13.4. So that's great, that worked beautifully. So there's a couple of jobs done on the caravan today. I've still got a few more things I need to do. Um, like I said, I'm, uh, I'm renting it out on uh, Camplify this weekend, so i uh, got to clean it up, give it a wash, and uh, got to try and fix up my driveway too because it's a bit boggy going up there. It might be a bit dangerous. So anyway, thanks guys for watching. Um, hope you got something out of this. You probably didn't. Maybe you did. I don't know. Leave us a comment um, down below. Uh, let us know what you think of the old van. It's coming up pretty good. Um, we've been getting out touring around in it, so we went out to Lightning Ridge recently. So uh, yeah, it's good on the road. There's a couple of little things um, I've got to fix with it. Like I said, the uh, leaky back window. Um, solar panel on the roof, but um, we'll get to those and uh, hopefully do videos on those too. So um, thanks guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to uh, like, subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. That would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. We'll catch you next time. See you guys. You.